2023 was a big year for AI, but let's be honest, it didn't have a ton of usability in everyday life. Outside of maybe asking a chat GPT a few questions about your code, maybe getting DALI to generate you some images, it didn't have a ton of utility in the day-to-day -day running of a business or just life in general. I found this too up until I discovered Rewind.ai. And this quickly became one of my favorite implementations on artificial intelligence, but also became a staple in my day-to-day -day working life. And let me tell you a little bit more about it. Rewind AI is an AI application that you can download onto your Mac or iPhone. It does only work on those two devices right now. They are working on some Windows clients and a few others as well, so it can travel with you. But basically what it does, like a creepy neighbor, it just sits there in the background, always listening and always watching, giving you the ability to have a basically superhuman memory. You just use your computer as you normally would. You won't notice this AI is running in the background unless you look up in the notification bar at the top. And then at any point, you can use the hotkey and search through your history. In the background, this AI is collating all of that lovely audio content and all of those screenshots that it's taking, compressing it and transcribing it all so it's easily searchable and easy for you to find. Let's say you had a meeting the day before with a client and you're struggling to remember exactly what was agreed on said call. Of course, you weren't taking notes because who actually takes notes during meetings? What Rewind.ai allows you to do is search for a specific time, date or application that you were using to find a transcript of exactly what was said between you and the other person, meaning that you can easily find the work or the piece of information that you were missing that you simply forgot to write down. It is immensely powerful in a standard daily workflow for most people, especially if you're having a lot of client meetings where a lot of things are discussed and accepted. What's more as well is its automatic meeting detection. It knows when you're in a Slack huddle, it knows when you're on a Zoom or a Microsoft Teams call. And once it finishes, it will automatically summarize all of that information for you into an easily readable and digestible paragraph or two. This again is great because I don't normally take notes during meetings. So to be able to have basically an executive summary of the meeting is really nice. What we can also do with that is we can forward all of those notes to anyone that we need to straight from within Rewind. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's definitely some privacy issues here, right? And yeah, you'd be sort of right. However, Rewind does all of this data and analysis on device. It never touches a server anywhere. And that is where AI becomes very, very powerful. Like most pieces of software, this is a software as a service. So you can pay for a monthly fee to allow you to continue to use the Rewind application. They do offer a 30 day free trial link for that will be in the description down below. It's a couple of quid a month, but basically what it allows you to do is to keep your data for as long as you need. Of course, this is quite a lot of data because it is always listening and always watching. It does a pretty good job at compressing, but you're still looking at about four gigabytes worth of data per week. Within these system settings, you can choose how long you keep that data for. You could keep it for a week, a month, a year, or however long you want, and you can quickly rewind back and find exactly the information that you need. Hitting the hotkey also allows you to see a timeline of your day, week, month, or year, and you can quickly skip to exactly where you need to be. Every week as well, it will give you a summary of your week. Where have you spent your most time? Have you spent it in one particular application? How many calls did you have that week? And how well was your time spent? All of this sort of data is super duper useful. And I have found this application to be one of my absolute must haves, particularly on my Mac. So how does it work on the iPhone? Well, on the iPhone, it is just a Safari um, extension that sits on your browser and watches and listens to everything that you're reading. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it for things like phone calls or native applications right now, which is a shame. And I'm sure in the future, we might be able to see an implementation of that. But 
its Mac implementation is nigh on perfect in my eyes. So what do you guys think of Rewind? Do you think that this is exactly where AI should be? Is this the kind of application that you can see yourself using on a day-to-day -day basis? Why don't you let me know in the comments section down below? And of course, while you're down there as well, get subscribed, hit like, share this with your friends so everyone knows just how useful AI can become, particularly as we're moving into 2024. Anyway, guys, my name is Ben Roberts. This has been Clue, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.